What's going on everybody, Beastly Gamer here. So Microsoft's Windows 10 event just concluded, I think the day before yesterday, and uh, they announced a lot of stuff. I gotta say Microsoft is having a pretty good year, a pretty good last two months at least. Uh, a lot of you guys don't know, but Microsoft actually won in the console sales department against PlayStation 4 in November and December of 2014. So they had two consecutive months of really good sales because of their price drops and now they're announcing all this new Microsoft stuff that Phil Spencer says could potentially make the Xbox one more powerful and a more uh, attractive home console and uh, so I want to go over some of the things that they talked about at the Windows 10 event and give you guys my thoughts on it the first thing that, that hit me was that uh, people using Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 will be able to upgrade to Windows 10 for free uh, within the first year of uh, Windows 10 being released. I think that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm on Windows 8 and that there's a lot of people who don't like Windows 8. Uh, it, it seems to be two UIs altogether and uh, I'm looking forward to a change, especially one that, that I don't have to pay for. So I think Microsoft really kind of understands the misstep that they made with Windows 8 and they're giving people the opportunity to, to upgrade for free. I think that's pretty cool. Another thing that they talked about is Cortana. Uh, coming to PC and Windows 10. So Cortana is kind of like Siri that you guys can use for Windows phones and whatnot. Now it will be actually used on PC. I don't know if it will be as awesome as Siri. I really like Siri on my iPad. She's pretty cool. Uh, it's like my second wife. But Cortana is pretty awesome too. So I'll see. Uh, I've never used Cortana. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that will entail. Another thing that they mentioned was uh, that Fable Legends will be cross-play. That you'd be actually be able to play it on PC and Xbox One together. They actually showed a demo of this happening, which is pretty uh, impressive. Uh, to be able to boot up your PC, go to your Xbox One, and uh, and play games. Now, my question is, will you have to have an Xbox One to use this functionality? Or can you just sign up for an Xbox One account, maybe buy the game on PC and just do it that way? If that's the case, then the Xbox One is probably going to take off and really surge in sales as, as, at least as a community because a lot of people are on PC and don't want to uh, downgrade to a console and if, if you feel that way then this might be a really good option for you to actually play Xbox One games on your PC plug in your Xbox One controller and have some fun that actually looked really cool it worked really well together from what I saw and uh, who knows what that means for the future you guys let me know what you think um, you can stream Xbox games to your PC and tablet with the Xbox Xbox app, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, it'll be kind of like the PlayStation Vita and the PS4 to actually do that to a tablet and uh, do it to your PC from your Xbox One. I think that'll be pretty pretty slick, just in case somebody else is using your uh, your television. Uh, they had announced this new thing called Windows Holographic, which is pretty uh, pretty impressive from what I saw. Um, the, it's a holographic software that's being launched with Windows 10 and it works with something called the HoloLens. And all I can say about the HoloLens is it is virtual reality mixed with, I guess it is just typical virtual reality, but it's really crazy because the stuff that you can make with uh, Windows Holographic, you can actually print it out in 3D printers. They showed this... Um, this I want to call like a UFO helicopter that this lady was making on stage as a holograph and uh, it looked really awesome it looked 3d and it looked like it was in physical space through her glasses these these see-through clear 3d glasses that they created uh, on this hollow lens but after the after she made it they actually showed the printed out version of it and they flew it just temporarily it flew so I mean depending on uh, I guess how high in your PC is this would be really awesome to have. I know that virtually nobody has a 3D printer. I think you got to be, uh, you know, either in a very uh, special line of work or have very specially lined pockets to have a 3D printer. I think when 3D printers become more of a staple in uh, Western civilization, when people just have them like they do printers at home, then uh, this could be a really, really awesome thing to have. I'm really into virtual reality. I think that. Uh, Project Morpheus is going to be awesome. I think that uh, Oculus is going to be awesome. And this thing actually looks really cool. When they showed the uh, 
the trailer for it initially I thought it looked better than it could have actually looked in person then they did a live demo right there on stage and they showed what this lady was actually looking at and the actual real demos look that awesome so I, I was really impressed with uh, Microsoft's Windows 10 event they also did a quick uh, Minecraft tease of uh, like a Minecraft hologram where your, your living room can turn into Minecraft everything in your living room will be covered with Minecraft uh, blocks and you can make things they actually shown some someone putting uh, TNT on the wall and it exploded and there was a hole in your wall and inside the wall you could actually see the world of Minecraft which is just sick uh, I think that's really awesome I don't know if the technology right now in the typical American home is uh, able to withstand this kind of technology uh, but who knows I guess we'll find out in the coming months and years but from what I see right now Microsoft is doing really really well with these new announcements they're doing really well with the uh, price drop continuing at 350 uh, I think it's possible that they could have a, a super super year in 2015 you guys let me know what you think about this stuff can Microsoft steal a win in 2015 can they continue on this path of successful sales against the PlayStation 4 or do you think it's uh, it's all for nothing let me know in the comments below thank you all so much for being so supportive and if you're new to the channel subscribe I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time